Oh, oh. Oh, look at that. There's one. Hey gang, welcome back to the channel. We're continuing on our master bathroom shower. Uh, really forensic work, right Jordan? Right. You're almost like a detective to see why this thing failed. So I've already got a good start in there, but before we show you what I did, uh, last night the owners called me and there was at least three mice running around in here. Coming out of that wall, which we noticed was open. See, can you get that back corner, mm -hmm. Jordan? And then uh, there was a bunch of insulation in there that they were nesting in and the urine odor was really strong. I cleaned all that out and then I sprayed it with this product and it works great. We mixed it 10 to one and sprayed it with a garden sprayer and I'll probably do it two or three times to make sure it's all gone. So why don't we start right here at the, at the where the curb was. And then you can see the extent of the rot is traveling over here to this, this stud. And then remember yesterday we said this was the slab. Well, it's not. See the little lip right here? So here's the slab. So this is some type of uh, maybe floor leveling compound. Who knows what they used to try to establish their slope. So that was kind of interesting to see that. And then look right here. It almost looks like things were growing in here. Yeah. Hmm. So come on around here. So you can see the extent of the rot here. Corners are especially susceptible in a shower because they see a lot of water. And this just got hammered. So this is, on Jordan's, on your left, this is the exterior wall of the house. And then it turns right here where this OSB is. And then this corner, this is a, another corner, so the exterior wall of the house continues that way. This is the uh, master bedroom on the other side. So was, before I started pounding away, I went around and removed the pictures from this wall. I didn't want them to get knocked off, break a glass or something. So I saved this for you right here. This is another thing that was done wrong. See the mesh tape? And I don't know if that's even, yeah, it's white. Look at it. It's white drywall mesh tape. It's not even the proper hmm. gray mesh tape for backer board. And then they just coated it with, back, with a red guard, but you can see it didn't even do its job. And that's not its job. It's not its job to seal that. So that was done wrong. So it's kind of like the more we go, the more we know we made the right decision to rip this thing out. Absolutely. I put this towel here to protect the plumbing because they want to save those. So here's the backer board. You can see the red guard they put on it. And then they just put dollops of thin set, probably on the back of the tile and then just press them onto the backer board. See that? Right. So kind of crazy. I'm probably going to have to, re well, I will have to reframe a lot of this and I'm going to take off this drywall, at least in this corner. But for right now, why don't we finish this wall? All right. Uh, what we're doing, gang, we're hauling it out in five gallon buckets. Uh, this wall only took eight buckets. This one took 12. So it's pretty quick. And then I'm throwing it in my truck and I'll take it to our local landfill. That's how we're getting rid of it. Cool. Uh, not enough for a dumpster, too heavy for the trash cans. So we have a local dump, easy. So let's get suited up in protective gear, smash this out, and then I'm gonna go eat lunch. Cool. <laughs> You can see all the dollops. Yeah. Oh yeah. And the other thing I noticed, I was telling Jordan, very, very few screws. Look, probably a foot apart. Looks like they use the right screws though. Wow. Hey gang, it's the next day. You, you saw us in smash mode to demolish this shower, but we're even careful then, right? We don't totally just take sledgehammers and smash it. Right, even though it would look cool. Yep, we take it apart. Got it all cleaned up. I got all the screws out of the walls. 
there were a lot of things wrong in this shower. A lot of techniques that were done wrong. The screws, they got that right. They did use a backer board screw, but they were too far apart. Uh, we mentioned some of the mistakes with the drain, with the pan liner, with the seams. If you're a pro in the trade and you saw something else they did wrong, let us know in the comments because there was a lot of things going on in this shower. So we got all that smashed out. And then this morning I came in here and we had to start removing this surround because all this tile is going to be changed to match the new shower. So I set up my laser and I followed my laser with the with my buzz saw. I got rid of this drywall and this little bit of tile that was right here. And then in horizontal mode, I followed it all the way around and got rid of all that. This drywall was already broken here, so we're not the first ones over here to demolish this. Somebody's been in here before. We know that this is going to be the third shower right here. The original one, the repair, and now we're going to do the whole thing over. Hopefully the last one for a long time. Yep, and you can see our one of the repairs from the back side here, Jordan, if you can get a shot. See, see if I can point it out. Yeah, see right here? So this is a repair. They cut out the original shower, new backer board, and a new liner. So once I got all this out, I thought this would come up easy, as easily as all this did. But I think a different contractor did this. I think so. Because it is done correctly. Now, come on over here. You can see the, so we got three quarter inch plywood. You can see the trowel marks. Quarter inch hardy board. Screw down, so that's all correct. But then look at the thin set. I mean, it is solid. There's no dollops there. So just right here, I started to demolish, I started to damage the plywood. And then I knew this is gonna be a bear to get out. So I talked to the owners and we're just gonna rip the whole thing out and start over. That will allow us to repair this sheetrock properly all the way around. So what I've done is I transferred all the measurements from here to this piece of plywood so we can duplicate it exactly because the tub drain has to line up with the existing drain. And then I've also gotten in here I removed the concrete that was here to support the bottom of the tub. It came right out, took out the drain, and I removed all these cripple studs in here. So the only thing holding this up is the attachment to these studs. So I think what I want to do, Jordan, get our reciprocating saw, come in from underneath and cut the framing here and in this corner, and remove this section in one piece. Now we have to be careful of our copper water lines here. Of course. Once we get that out, we'll make a cut here and get rid of this corner. Then we'll come over here, make a cut here, get rid of that piece. And then all that's left is this. And this will be nice because hopefully we can just get it out and just haul it out as one piece. Yeah. And we don't have to deal with smashed and tile. A lot easier. Yeah. I'm tired of the bucket brigade. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Let's ready? get the recip and get it done. Let's do it. I'm taking back what I said about the bucket brigade. That was heavy. <laughs> All right, let's get this one. Game. All the big stuff is out of here. 
It's almost three o'clock the day before Thanksgiving. We're going to the landfill with that stuff. This job was, um, there was not enough to rent a dumpster, but it was too much to try to put in the trash cans. You saw those big pieces, there would have been no way. The landfill's so easy, you're gonna see. Let's go check it out. dude Ooh, it's a traffic jam right here a little bit i'm going not only is it a traffic jam but it's a workout <laughs> and we hope that elderly gentleman who was all by himself yep. comes to us the day before thanksgiving he would have been here for another hour minimum yep he's done now yeah so i'm thinking 1200 pounds okay well last time on the diffuser i guess 57 and i was short by you know oh, yeah. 40 pounds so they're gonna go 1201, right? Uh, the price is right, Strat. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna say 1238. Okay. I like 1238. You're going for a specific number. Right. All right. Because if I get it on the dot, it's it's like the wow factor is a lot bigger. We'll be right back. All right. Man, I thought I was gonna have to leave you here as collateral. <laughs> she said I need 28 more dollars, and I said all I got is 20. Oh man. <laughs> okay, so we weighed 70. Oh, right here. Yeah, we. Oh. 1720 pounds in my little half ton pickup truck wow so we just moved almost a ton of stuff yep dang well i'll feel good eating thanksgiving dinner yep my body feels like it <laughs> let's get out of here all right all right gang we're back from the landfill not too bad 1800 pounds but we're done with that part of it so sun's already setting but we want to get this cleaned up tonight before we leave so you can see we have some mice living in here we actually just saw a live one. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna cut this insulation up here, and then we're gonna clean all this up. And we're gonna try to catch that guy. And then you know, we got Thanksgiving tomorrow, so I think I wanna get all my tools out of here and get this really clean for him. Let's do it. Alrighty, gang. We got all the insulation pulled down in this area. This is where the mice were living. This bay, this bay, and this bay. You can see right here where they, at some point, chewed through the Celotex. See that? This is old sheathing. In fact, it still says Celotex on it right there. They, chew, they chewed through this. And then we did see one run up here. And you can see on this pipe, that's where they've been running right here. See those marks? Yeah. Now over here, look at this, Jordan. We have this old ABS sewer line. I wonder if they're coming up through there. Mm. And we just finished... In the other part of this house, um, a project, uh, they had a sewer pipe open in another wall from a remodel 20 years ago. The main backed up, came out of that pipe, and flooded this half of the house. Can mice just go straight up pipe like that? I think they can. Mm, well, maybe if that goes to like a sewer or some well, gross part. If they left that other pipe open in the wall, who's, who's to say this isn't still connected to a sewer somewhere? Right. So we'll... Clock will block that before we leave today. Definitely. But uh, let's clean this up, spray that solution one more time, and get out of here. Cool. Nothing. Oh, oh. Alrighty gang, we're all cleaned up. 
Tools are loaded up, got this all vacuumed, sprayed it with some more of the lavender uh, urine neutralizer. Got this plywood up, even notched it around the pipe so it's nice and tight against that framing so the mites can't get out. So I think she'll be really happy with that. Now, as we've been progressing, you know, we kind of started with the pan. And then when we knew we had to take down the walls, we talked to the owner. And then when we knew we had to take this out, we talked to the owner. So we're talking to them at each step and just uh, keeping them advised and updated. And they're happy with the whole thing. All right, so our next step, we have to remove all this wallpaper or repair all this framing. What do you think, Jordan? The wallpaper sounds like it's gonna suck, to be honest. Yeah? Uh, so I'd rather get that out of the way first. All right, I have some tips and tricks. Yeah, I'll right. make it a little brighter in here. So Monday we'll take down that plate glass mirror and get all this wallpaper down and then start reframing this bathroom and putting it back together. Sweet. So if you like the video, Give us that thumbs up, we really appreciate it. Leave us a comment down below. We're really trying hard to answer all of them. And subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. That means a lot to us also. So have a great Thanksgiving. We'll see you on the next one. Woo.